Welcome to the bonus edition of Augusta Ali Podcast. But today, I will be reviewing AEW Revolution. We have the pre-show buy-in. Rio, Rosa versus Baker, Rebel, I mean, Mahi, Ito. Rebel is replacing Mahi, Ito. Now, we have the Revolution rest of the card. Kiss Sabian, Myro versus Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy. We got the Casino Tag Team Royale. So I'll tell you the winner of the match is the winner of the Tag Team Casino Royale, Royale is Pac and Ray Phoenix. It was a well fought match. We had Ray Phoenix. The last two people were Ray Phoenix and Jungle Boy. It was a back and forth fight until Ray Phoenix got the victory for his team. <laughs> we got the street fight. Darby Allison versus Teens Taz. We got the money match. Heyman versus Hardy. We got face the revolution ladder match. Cody versus Penta versus Scorpio versus Archer versus Max Caster versus the six new signee Ethan Page. The AEW tag team title match. Young Bunks versus MJF and Jericho. Women's Championship, Ikaru Shida versus Ryu Miyazumi. We got the AW World Championship, Exploring Buff ba- Barbed Wire Deathmatch, Omega versus Moxley. We start with we start with Sabian Mayo versus Chuck Taylor and Cassidy. The match was well fought. It was pretty good. We had a little moment where Myro bumped Sabian's wife. So they're going to do a storyline, a dissension between Myro and Sabian. But Myro get the win. As for the casino tag team, Royale, a little more information. We saw, we saw Dustin Rose's partner turning heel. The, the man known as the Apple. Somewhat Apple guy who uh, training training superstars at the Nightmare Factory. You y'all know him already. So okay. we got the street fight. Alan name was T Taz. The the street fight was okay. It was well fought. It was amazing cinematic actually. It was I think it's well apart with the with the the Boneyard match. Well apart. Actually, is I think in my opinion. Hope you know everyone's gonna hate me for this. I think the the cinematic street fight is way better than the, the boneyard match. Yeah, let let's see how you react to that. The big money match: Heyman versus Hardy. Heyman and Hardy put out a good fight. Hardy worked on Heyman's arm. We had the Dark Order got involved. Heyman got the victory and celebrated with his Dark Order buddies. So we they are slowly they're building Heyman versus Omega. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're building up to it. I'm thinking it all out or double or nothing. We got the face of the Revolution ladder match for the TNT. Hellshot Cody versus Penta versus Scorpio versus Archer versus Max Caster versus the new signee. The sixth man, Ethan Page. Yes, AEW has signed Ethan Page to a, a multi-year contract. You'll be seeing him a lot more, so get used to him. Scorpio got the wit- victory, and now will get a title shot up against Darby Allen this coming Wednesday. Come see you on Dynamite. Mm-hmm. The AEW Tag Team title match, Young Bucks with NJ and Jericho. The match near the end of the match, Guevara interfered and Young Bucks managed to retain the titles, pinning Jericho, still the tag team champions, Young Bucks. I mean, it's champion Sheeta versus Rio Namazumi. Sheeta got the win after a hard fought bat to bat match. The post match, it was interference from, from the Vixens. We had Britt Baker, Mati Ito interfering, and Donald Rosa come to the aid and so now it comes to a six man tag. I cannot wait for this coming Wednesday Dynamite. Mm-hmm. And now 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We have the AEW World Championship main event, exploding barbed wire death match, Kenny Omega versus John Moxley. This was the most gruesome, grueling, bloodiest match you've ever seen in your entire life. It was it was sharp, it was rough, bloodiest thing you ever seen. I hope I can see the replay of it. But it is blood gushing experience you ever will have in, in pro wrestling as a pro wrestling fan. So after the match then it was Gallus and Harrison and Mega Attack Kenny Omega. I mean John Moxley kept attacking Moxley. The countdown to the bomb was exploding. Then there was Kenny Eddie Kingston got jump in the cover to protect Moxley. But we had a dud explosion. So there was no real explosion. We had a dud. Post post match we had a post match with Kenny with John Moxley had a a harsh I mean a promo, a post match promo. It was pretty good. But here's the thing. That explosion was a dud. There was originally going to have a real explosion, but I think the problem was it was a botch. It got botched, so so any so that could be a mistake on AEW's text hand, technicals hand. So please don't hate them that for that. It's a new company. is It's not like WWE. So please please try to calm down the hate. And you know, athlete, this was a good pay per view. It was a good pay per view. It was a good pay per view, but it was decent regardless. The cinematic match I told about was a two thumbs up. That's how you do it. The OB match was good. A lot of us saw a lot of guys standing around waiting for the move to happen. That's a little bit awkward. Archer staying all fours for the ladder for about three minutes was. To me, it was kind of awful. The win match was great, as I talked about. But the one little issue that she was smiling too much. That was my little issue. And as that, the chest slaps were ridiculous. And the sixth main guy, the signee, the multi-year signee that we're going to sign was actually Christian. It's not Brock Lesnar, Jossie, or CM Punk. Or Craig, or Bully, or Bubba Ray Dudley, or RVD. I'm sorry. Alright. Tony Khan should never hype things things up, but we're here to enjoy the pay-per-view. Just enjoy it. So it was a good, it was a a decent pay-per-view. Most of the matches were good, but the pay-per-view was decent. So I give it a one thumbs up, and alright, that was the bonus bonus episode of a Augusta Oli podcast. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. I'll be reviewing AW Dark on on Wednesday. I mean, AW Dark on on Thursday and Dynamite as well. So stay tuned for that.